Hi, it's Julie. Today I wanted to dive into upcoming fall trends, mostly for the eyes, eyeshadow, eyeliners, things like that. Um, I'll touch on a couple other trends, but it took me a while to find some things. Uh, there's not a lot on YouTube at this point. I went into Sephora and spoke with the women there and they kind of really didn't have a real good grasp about what was coming out and what the trends were. So I looked at magazines, I looked at Vogue and Glamour and just a bunch of them and took some notes, went and just Googled fall makeup trends, looked at some pictures. If I can, I will insert some of them so you'll get an idea of what they look like. Otherwise, you can just Google fall makeup trends and you'll come up with um, probably the same things that I looked at. Let's start with a question for you guys. What have you been seeing out there and what are you excited to try and have you seen anything new? Um, if you have, go ahead and um, make a comment down below so we can get some ideas of what's out there and if there's anything new that you've seen. So what I saw was one shadow, a mono color on the lid. Sometimes it was a bright paint box like crayon green or a blue or a bright bright like magenta pink or a bright canary yellow sometimes it would just be the wing they would make an eyeshadow wing or just blocks of color on the eye but i did see the suede brown trend one brown color all across the lid so i have a bobby brown color that works great this one's in taupe Looks like that. It is a perfect kind of cool all over lid color that I've done and I really like the effect of it. It's hard not to deepen the outer V. I kind of, because my eyes are closer set, I love that um, deeper V look. But this is so quick and easy and it really is fresh and pretty for the fall. And then these are brand new by Marc Jacobs. They come in these, they look like a powder compact but they are the Omega eyeshadows, Omega shadow. It comes in this compact that looks like a little powder compact. So you get quite a bit of shadow. It's got a nice mirror on it. And this is Oh Daddy. Look at that, it's beautiful. That's what I have on my lids. And that's the only thing, I just put it all over my lids, blended it out. It's just super silky and beautiful. So I love this. I will probably be wearing this most of the fall. So a mono color on the lid is a big trend. The next trend that I saw was underliner, underneath your bottom lashes to put the color like I've done. There was icy blue, bright green, bright pink, bright yellows, silver and gold were also a big trend that, that's coming this fall. So um, I put, which one? This NYX pencil right here. And this beautiful kind of light teal aqua color. That's what's under the outer portion of my lashes. And then on the inner, I decided to go ahead and try the gold. And I looked, I looked at NYX several others they were far too yellow gold for me for my skin uh, tone and coloring but if you had a deeper skin tone darker hair it could be beautiful but i picked a, up a brand new mark jacobs um, these are glittery and this one is called all that glitters and it's a nice lighter gold that has the shimmer in it. Now normally I think I would use just one of these colors underneath my eyes, but I wanted to show you a couple different ones. So this is the gold on the inside. If you can see that towards the middle is the Marc Jacobs and then on the outside is the NYX. So there's all sorts of colors out there that are gorgeous. This one is um, by L'Oreal. It's the, isn't that gorgeous? That blue is just so pretty. 
brown eyes, blue eyes, that would look gorgeous on you. Another periwinkle blue I picked up is by Hard Candy, and it's just it's underneath that teal color. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And then also um, I picked up a silver one from NYX, NYX, and that looks beautiful above the lash and under the lash. It's really pretty, and you add a little bit of black with it, black liner, and then your silver liner. So, so pretty. I also have this Revlon Colorstay eyeshadow. They've been out for a while. They're really great. They've got great reviews that come with this little hidden brush inside that's like that. And what you can do is use this as a liner or a wash of color on your lid. I'll put it next to the other silver so you can get an idea. I saw one girl who had on a brown all over her lid and then she had on kind of just a thicker wash of silver right near her upper lashes. And that was new and kind of different. That was pretty. But there are also um, colors that you can get if you do want a colored eyeshadow instead of a pencil. This one is by Buxom. There's the bright green. Bright green was really big. And I love, I love green. It's not swatching very well, but that's it at the bottom. And then I picked up this little L'Oreal quad. Look at that. Look at all the colors that you could use in that. You could use them all as underliners if you wanted to. Wet a thin brush, just draw a, a nice line, however thick you want it underneath, and that would be gorgeous. They're a little bit powdery, so you probably really do need like MAC Fix Plus or something like that, but look at that bright blue, and then they've got icy blue was another color that was showing up quite a bit. I'll put that underneath. But these are affordable. If you don't want to invest in some super colorful palette, you could pick up one of these drugstore. There's that icy blue right here. You could pick up one of these or you could pick up singles. I didn't see a lot of bright pops of color in singles at the drugstore. I saw it in quads like this one. They also There was also a purple one. I didn't see a lot of purple in the trends that are upcoming for the fall. The next trend that I saw everywhere was colored mascara. There was white mascara, which that's pretty you know dramatic and unusual. There was bright yellow, bright pink, bright blue, bright green, everything you could imagine where the women wore them, wore it really thick as just their only mascara or on their bottom lashes. Yeah. So I went to the store and I picked up a couple colors by Hard Candy. These were only $5. Usually colored mascara, because I remember trying it years and years ago, doesn't show up very well. The color is kind of so um, close to black that it doesn't, it's not really worth doing. But the blue one in this really does show up. If you want that dramatic color and you don't want to invest in an expensive mascara, the hard candy ones are $5. This one is um, Be Bold and it is in this vibrant blue. Look at that, super colorful. That would be gorgeous with brown eyes, I think especially, would be really, really pretty. I like black mascara on the top and then to try the color on the bottom. I have this Be Bold in the dark green. They didn't have a bright green. And as you can tell, it doesn't really, like you can kind of see the green, but it looks almost black. So when you look at my bottom lashes, they're a little bit lighter than my top ones, but you can't really see the color that well. Let me get close so you can try to see. But it's dark green on the bottom lashes. I also picked up this L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara in Burgundy. And this one looks like that. 
and it was very similar to this green. You really couldn't see the color very well on my lower lashes. And unfortunately, I have a sensitivity to reds in um, eyesh eyeshadow products and eye products. And for the longest time, I haven't had anything react, but my eyes reacted very strongly to this. And I've, the last couple days, I was recovering from very bloodshot eyes because of the, the red pigment in this. So. I, unfortunately, I won't be able to wear this again. It was pretty, but it didn't show up very much on my eyes. So also having to do with the eyes, the bushier the eyebrows, the better. The eyebrows are all brushed up, very thick, very um, not defined, a little bit wilder than what we've been seeing. So I did my brows today, not very wild, but bushy for me. I used the IT brow power. It's got a thicker pencil tip at the end, if you can see that, in taupe. And then I brush them up and this is what I use to try to get them to stand up and be a little bit bushier. This is the e.l.f. Sheer Tint Brow Gel. So basically it's just a clear gel on this very fine, thin wand and it's not super crunchy it's it probably doesn't hold as well as the crunchier types but for me this works well i just brushed them up and through to hold like that so we did see the brows that were um, nice and thick and and brushed up and then the other thing i'll just touch briefly on a couple other trends that i saw contouring was not happening there was no contouring going on no cheekbones no highlight it was very fresh moisturized almost naked looking skin very natural looking glowy skin was what was in and for the lips we either saw um, the bright red powerful lip which is beautiful I don't do a red lip I don't do darker lipsticks on my lips because I feel like it really makes my lips look thinner so they were um, really beautiful berries, browns, bright red, or a lip balm look. They would have these lined in black eyes, very glam punk. Um, Tom Ford did that. He had brown and black, real thick and heavy around the eyes, natural looking skin, and just a lip gloss that was clear or a balm on the lips. So that was a look as well. So. Those were the things that I saw as far as blush goes. Um, it was very bare, usually a, a light, light peach colored blush and not a very powdered look. Um, very strong eyeliner is, is kind of what I took away from looking at all the trends. So go have some fun. If you don't want to spend a lot of money, go to the drugstore, get a nice eyeshadow that you like, um, eyeliners that are bright colorful, maybe an eye pencil or two, and give it a try. Even some of these colored mascaras might be your thing. You might have a good time. I saw some glittery ones. So have some fun and let me know if you see anything else that I haven't mentioned for the fall, and I will see you next time.